name is Jennifer. My daughter's in the hospital because her she was born without her stomach and esophagus connection, and she has a heart condition, and she's born with one kidney, and her little intestines aren't turned right. Hi, pretty girl. Your mama's baby. Yeah. I'm staying at the Kiwanis house, and I've been here since August. I am so grateful to the Kiwanis house. If I wasn't here, I'd be camping on the lawn at the hospital or sleeping in corners at the hospital and having security chase me around because there's just no way I could go home to Reading and leave the baby here in the hospital. The food closet is meant for when people stay here and they don't haven't gone grocery shopping for themselves or they don't have enough money to go grocery shopping. They put food out in the kitchens for the people to make their own meals and stuff. When you first get to the Qantas house, you're pretty tired and grocery shopping is the last thing you want to do and everyone has to eat. If people could donate to the Qantas house, then feed the families for a long time. About August 11th, I went in and they didn't think the baby's heart rate was up to par, so they sent me up to the hospital in Reading and the doctor came in and said, we're gonna take you by ambulance down to UC Davis early. And I said, okay. And then he came back in like 15 minutes later and said that um, they were gonna take me by airplane. And I was like, no way, but here I am. This is her, um, we call it heart surgery scar. <laughs> she had tetralogy of flow and she had a big hole between the two bottom chambers of her heart. and. Um, they patched it with a piece of Gore-Tex and when she's a, they said about when she's a teenager she'll need a valve put in her heart. She doesn't have one now. Um, and this is from her stomach surgery, this scar right here. And this one right here. And this is from a chest tube from after the surgery for drainage. And there's another chest tube scar. And, all kinds of little holes where they did all kinds of little things. <laughs> My nurses tell me that she is really happy and more happy than other babies, and especially for a cardiac baby in this, because I, they said it was because I was able to be there every day and be with her and spend so much time with her where a lot of people live far away and can't be there with their babies. So it's been really helpful to her and, helped her development. I've met so many people. I've met people from all over the country here and everyone's just been extremely wonderful people and it helps to, for us to all talk together and tell our stories. And um, the people that work here have been extremely nice and generous and anytime you need anything, they're right here to help. I can't even explain how wonderful it's been and how grateful I've been for this place.